Hey Internet, this is Chaz. This is Dan. Welcome to Wine & Series Business, episode 197. We're back with a few more samples, thanks to Catherine from Balzac Communications. These were split out from the previous three because they're Chianti Classico Reservas. They have got some more age on them, they're a different vintage. Uh, they're required to be 38 months in bottle, so these are both 2008s. Uh, but we like them too, out of the big lineup we checked, and so we decided to break it into two shows. Yeah. Uh, First wine we've got tonight, Volpaya. Yeah. Uh, Colta Sala, Chianti Classico Reserva from 2008. And so another time, uh, we asked it in the last show too. Um, 2008, don't know anything about the vintage as far no. as Tuscan is concerned. So if there's anyone out there with information, hey, we'd love to hear it. So. Ooh, stinky. A lot going on here. Mm hmm. Yeah, like something funky, kind of, kind of like animal a little bit or something. Yeah, like almost, that. Uh, almost a little gamey, like bloody. Yeah. A um, little bit like rose petals, a little bit of black earth. Definitely dark cherries for me. I'm getting like the old cherry aromas yeah. that are, are somewhat flavor or in, in, in some wines. Um, but yeah, a lot, a lot of dark earth and a lot of like very uh, complex aromas that don't immediately come to me, like the gamey note is, is something that, that I think is there. Really strange, strange but delicious notes. Friendly fruit, right on contact. Oh yeah. The way that the approach of this, these ones over the Chianti Classic as we tasted in the previous show are, this is gentle. It definitely, like, definitely it's, shows. It's yeah. very acidic and there are, some really nice fine grain late hitting tannins on this that are mm -hmm. firm, that provide a lot of grip. But I mean, the, the fruit flavors are even now are persisting through that. Mm -hmm. um, this one shows a lot of poise compared to the man, last show. Yeah, like definitely, you know, a couple, couple years of age is probably a mm -hmm. quality differential when, when selecting the reserves too, I'd at least wasn't, guess. Wasn't the, it doesn't have to spend more time in, in barrel as well to be a reserva? I believe there's something to do with that as well. Yeah. Um, like, you know, Anyway, a little more time. I think it's got to spend a little more time in barrel. Um, but anyway, the tannins are way more approachable. Like they're still right. there, mm -hmm. they're still full, uh, but they they have they're a lot more polite than, uh, than, than than the younger wines where they kind of ease into it. Yeah, and this is delicious. Like the, the fruit flavors are uh, are more brightly toned cherry fruit to me. Like there's a lot of like bright red toned fruit here. Um, almost, almost bordering on like the grapefruitiness you can sometimes mm. get in Pinot. Um, like there's a, that vibrancy and there's a lot of acidity that, that pairs with that. It sort of reminds me of that, but it's not immediately that. There's something else going on. There. Yeah, and the flavors um, don't out overlap a whole lot. I mean, we talk about no. cherries, but uh, it's that, and like the earthy flavors are definitely their own, their own thing. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, but the, the 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 way that the approach of the structure is on this one is much more integrated, much easier to drink immediately. We're, we're still hitting the cheese and the meat in the background here. Let's uh, try it, it out. It plays, yeah. plays really well with it, but I don't even think it needs it. I think it's drinking pretty solidly on its own, honestly. Totally. Um, 89 plus to 90 points for me. Nice. Really enjoyable wine. Yeah. Um, 88 plus for me, I guess for, for almost even unknown reasons, I'm not getting as much excitement, but I really like how it's put together, mm -hmm. how the flavors work together. I think it's in a good place. Um, again, I, I think it's better with food, but I could drink this one by itself uh, a little more slowly and I think with a meal that go that go really well. And it'd be and it, I think it'd be a big hit at kind of like a dinner. You have like five or six people at a table, I think. Agreed. I think the glasses of that would disappear pretty quickly. So totally agree. So our second wine, this one's not so much a mouthful, so you'd probably say it the Marchese uh, Antonore Chianti Classico Reserva from two thousand eight. Uh, yeah. Alright. So you go to pour. And figure the threads out. Holy crap! Wow, mm. I have the taste, even though Powerful. it's rinse. Powerful. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll we'll get to that. It's, it's on the nose. Interesting. Here. So the, the 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 rinse on this, I was like, this is so peppery. It's like okay. black peppercorn all over the top of it. And it even smells of black peppercorns, like. And I'm getting like the green blackberry vines, and that's a descriptor I use for Cabernet a lot, but it's not the, in the same way. So these are a little more dried out, I think. Oh, man, think of like, 
I mean, I definitely see the blackberries, and I guess I could see like dried blackberry vines, but my mind immediately jumped to like beef blood and pepper. I'm definitely getting the pepper. I'm all yeah, over that. Yeah, so. Pretty, like the rare steak? Yeah, the, like the rare yeah. steak with a lot of blood in it. Not immediately beefy, but it's just like a little bloody with it. Maybe, maybe it's just because those flavor, I get those flavors together because we often put pepper and salt all over our sure. steaks, right? Man, so. man, really good complexity on the nose for both of these. It's, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I agree. I agree. Mm. Ah, it's peppery. A little more the red fruits show on the palate than on the nose. That seems to be kind of a consistent thing across the wines we've been trying. Getting a little bit of raspberries in the mid palate, I think. And this one is immediately structured from the very start, at least for me. Like mm -hmm. the fruit, the fruit is there immediately. Like you start to taste it, but man, the tannins begin to build almost immediately. Like they set in the second that you start to taste the wine. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, very, very firm wine. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm gonna get some fat in my mouth here. Mm. Evens things out a little bit. I think from the what the bramble was suggesting on the nose, I'm getting a little bit of greenness in the mid palate for me. Um, yeah. It's a touch bitter. It's kind of distracting for me. Like I like the fruit flavors up front, and I think the the structure is on the bigger side. It doesn't get crazy in the end, especially with the food that really tempers it on the finish. Totally. Um, it was really dry without it, but with it, like it just has kind of that full structure that works well. It's still rather drying, and it cuts it cuts the fat of the the sausage really well. Um, and yeah, that, and that helps balance it. But but on its own, yeah, it's it's really firm. Mm -hmm. um, I get, I guess I would say I don't get as much of the greenness. I can see some of what Dan's what, what Dan's talking about, but really just comes off as like mega drying tannins. Um, that don't get immediately bitter, but they just really dry them out. That like mega drying. Um, but that said, with the persistence of the fruit, like there, there is some fruit flavor left over. Um, uh, this is one where I would say it might it might age very well. Huh? Yes? No? Yes? No? Not me. I don't okay. Think so okay. So that's good. We get, we got two different opinions here, but uh, I I think there's enough going on at least in the nose, and then and then maybe the rest of the wine. It might age well. Um, but for immediate drinking, obviously, the, the first one, the both the, the, the paella is way better. Um, I'll try one more so, sip with the cheese. We'll see. We'll just see if I yeah, can the, 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 get a little more out of it here. Um, but to me, the green flavor is kind of, as I have more sips, they're expanding more. Hmm. Let me get up in here. <laughs> yep, I like the fruit up front. Yeah, the fruit is nice, but maybe yeah. this wouldn't age well. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. You should run with your opinion, man. Yeah, I, I don't really know either. Honestly, it's, it's not entirely balanced. Obviously, like it's, but the, but I think it's I think it's well enough integrated. Um, I have no idea. I don't know Chianti at all. So, yeah. um, man, and, and for a score, this is a tough one to score because I mean, Jesus, it's. I'm gonna go. 485 points on this one because it's just oh, yeah. 83 for me. Um, yeah, you know I, I can drink it, especially I think with a meal I could go through a bottle with a, with a couple people share it. I would pour myself another glass, mm -hmm. um, but the excitement's not there. I think that that little bit of bitterness kind of sits in the center and that persists. And some people dig that, especially with food. Um, you know, some producers I've talked to even kind of kind of like to cultivate that as part of being food friendly. Um, and part of the structure they, they, you know, kind of choose to develop. For me, it's not working so well. So uh, in this circumstance, I don't think so. Yeah. So that's where it's leaving me. Um, I mean, it certainly smells cool, though. I mean, it's a cool wine, but yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, and and un unfortunate pairing, I guess, compared mm -hmm. to this. And interesting, we we tried all these beforehand too, and then originally I think the fruit was a little more powerful, and and the, and the structure yeah. kind of hid some of that greenness, but. Uh, you know, over time it's coming out. That's how it goes sometimes. So, uh, yeah, these have been open for about two hours at this point. So, yeah. So that's the show, and 
You said you had a question of the day? Well, yeah, I was coming up with one while we were sort of hanging out, building between this show, was that uh, Dan and I were lucky enough to happen into a, a case, or like a sort of a mixed case, of yeah. 1969 and 1970 Rufino Chianti Classico, uh, which Dan still has a bottle of. And, uh, or was it 69, 68, I think, weren't they? 68? Yeah. 68 and 70? I don't know. Was there? I don't know. Anyway, it's been a long, I, I got rid of my bottles pretty quick because they, mm. a couple of mine were leaking. Yeah, so. closer a little bit, ever, but I, I look for occasions to share them and they've yeah. all been a hit. Um, they really, yeah. really it, it kind of took a gamble on them that they may be dead. It's from, yeah, Rufino, kind of a big producer. You can kind of find it everywhere. Um, but at that point in time, the ones, they, they made something that lasted, and then we've enjoyed them. So. And so, so that's the oldest Italian wine I've had. What's what's the oldest Italian wine you've had? Yeah, and tell us what you thought of it too. It'd be, it'd be yeah. great to great to hear story. That's a good question. And for us, the the Rufinos have been at least for me, in my batch was about 50-50. Like, right. there were some that just tasted like leather. There was like no fruit left, and then there were some that were just beautiful and were really fun to drink and share with people. So. And I didn't have any that were totally dead. It was kind of more on that, more on the, more on that spectrum. Some of them were pretty, pretty much gone, but still enjoyable. Right. And uh, and others had more intact. But it's really interesting. But speaking to these wines, I mean, these these wines can age. I can totally see it tremendously. So yeah, I, I the reservas. I think those were reservas that we, the old Rufinos. Yep. Yeah, they were reservas. So. Uh, yeah, but it's been cool to see and really taste some of these young wines. I can really see how that age ability comes into play um, and yeah. get a feel for you know the range of what some of these producers offer. So uh, yeah, so we had a fun time with Chianti Classico. Hopefully, the shows were interesting for you guys as well. We'll probably be back to something from the Northwest next week. We definitely will. See you then. Like to drink some Pinot. God, I want to drink some Pinot. See you guys next time.